about haunting for Jerky today. I'm gonna kiss you. I'm coming out of the woods right now. Let's go. I'm gonna call my. I think he dropped right behind this tree. Oh, oh yeah. There he is. Nice turkey. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, I am fishing with this turkey lure that Kevin has 3D printed for me. This is gonna be the Thanksgiving special. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what the action's gonna be like just with all these crazy lure videos. No idea what the action's gonna be, but it does look pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to catch a fish on this turkey thing. But the conditions right now, it's about 30 degrees, like three to four mile power winds. And I think I'm gonna catch a lot of fish today. I have a good feeling about today because the fall bite seems to be on. These fish are pushing up. They're getting really aggressive. But let's just get to using this thing. Hopefully the action isn't too terrible, like the ghost lure. That was just very, very, very hard to use. But enough talking, let's put this thing to the test. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's whip it out there. Not nearly as heavy as the ghost lure, but the action is identical to the ghost lure, which I don't like to see, because you're basically just dragging a dead weight through the water. That's kind of what it looks like, but well, this is gonna be difficult, but it's definitely possible, so let's do it. Oh, I just soaked my seat, because I'm an idiot. Here we go. Turkey lure first cast. What if we catch one first cast? That would be pretty cool like I honestly think I'm gonna catch like three four bass maybe even like I got some high hopes for the day it's like perfect weather for a nice day of fall fishing so that's why I have so much confidence in today because as you know it's all about the confidence all about confidence okay I don't know if I want to like swim it or jig it I I don't even know what I'm supposed to do but I think jigging it's a little bit better because swimming it it doesn't look too appealing but if I just like jig it across the top of these weeds, Loki think we might get hit. But again, if I get stuck in the weeds, I might have to try to swim it over the top of them. Oh, there's a fish. Yep, on the turkey. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness, there he is. Come on, mate. Where is he? Oh my goodness, he's pulling. He is pulling, that's for sure. There's a ton of weeds down there, so he's probably stuck in them. Oh, it's a little dinkers though. It's a little dinkers. He was stuck in so much weeds, he felt a lot bigger than he was, but oh my goodness, we got the first fish on the turkey. I mean, he is extremely, extremely beat up. Like, I kind of feel bad for this guy. Oh boy. As you can see, turkey is in his mouth right there. Oh my goodness, what happened to this poor little fish? He's got a ton of marks on him. Like something was just about to eat this guy, but he survived, so good on you for surviving, little bud. All right, dude, I am a little bit sorry for all the scars that you have, but I'm gonna let you go and you go live. I mean, that was a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I don't know how he survived. Bro is a trooper, that's for sure. Well, that only took about like 40 some minutes, I think. It was definitely less than an hour and I got my first bite. So that's what you like to see. Hopefully we can get some more, maybe some bigger ones, maybe a pike. I don't really know, but. The sun decided it was a good idea to leave us. And now I'm freezing. Dag gum it. And the wind literally changed directions. It was blowing south, now it's blowing north. And I don't understand how it just does a full freaking 180 on us in the matter of 30 minutes. I literally kayaked over here just for the fact that I could drift back. But now I can't even drift back. Oh no, the clear coat's falling off. Kevin did say it wasn't technically ready to fish with, but it was just so nice today, I had to take it out. So I was like, you know what? If it falls apart, Kevin, it's fine. And it's 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 falling apart, that's for sure. It is so hard to cast with gloves on, dude. Especially these big old mittens. Guys, I think I'm about to get attacked. Uh, like four swans are just ganging up on me right now. They're all right behind me. I think they're plotting something. I don't know. They're, 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 they don't look like they're up to any good. Look at that guy right there. Dude, like, oh my goodness, he's literally right next to me. Like, what is going on? Like, he's literally like five feet from me. I'm not even lying. Dude, what, what do you guys want? I am actually terrified right now. Why are they so close to me? Like, what the heck, dude? I made myself a new friend, though. Her name is Sally the Swan. Is 
Is that a fish? That's definitely sea. Yeah, that's sea. It's a rough day right now. Can't seem to get me another bite. I'm just happy I got one though. Oh my gosh, I am so cold. I had to come up here in the car and warm up real quick. I literally like cannot feel my fingers right now. But that's just how it goes. In late fall fishing, you can't always stay out the longest because it just gets so cold and it, it's difficult to stay out there. But I have a plan for the rest of the night because it's only about two o'clock. Sunset's at five, so I have three more hours left. I'm probably gonna warm up a little bit, go to a store and buy turkey just to eat turkey because the bass won't eat the turkey, so I'm gonna eat the turkey instead because that's just a, an amazing plan. Then I'm gonna go to the south side of the lake because I'm on the north side right now and it wasn't very productive, so maybe that side will be more productive. I don't really know. I'm just running out of ideas, but I wanna keep fishing because I have like three hours left of daylight, so I might as well use the rest of the day because it gets dark at like five o'clock which is outrageous. Let's go buy some turkey to eat. I don't even know if, what I mean by that, but I'm gonna find something. I have never seen anything like this in my life before. A, a turkey stick, it's like a sausage stick, except it's turkey. I don't really know how I feel about that. It's not it, dude. That is not it. They call this thing lightly pepper. That's all I can taste is a pepper. I don't even taste the turkey. Lemon peel lemon peel that's what i taste i'm like it's very citricky you know what i'm saying anyways i'm giving the fish an example of what it's like to eat turkey so hopefully when i go back out there a fish will be like oh that's how you eat the turkey and they'll eat my turkey that makes sense it doesn't but i have a turkey stick i question myself sometimes not sometimes all the time i don't i'm just we're not gonna talk about it On the other side of the lake, have about like two hours left of daylight, I'd say, so hopefully we can make something happen. I don't know how the rest of the night's gonna go, but I got the turkey on and see if we can make it happen again. Oh my gosh, that's a big bass. Why was he just sitting right next to me? He's gone now, but I'm just gonna cast back in that direction where he swam. But that's a good sign that there's fish over here, so hopefully I can connect that one. Oh, a fish just jumped over there. Bass right in front of me. Why do I keep seeing bass, but none of them bite it? Like, dang gum, dude. Uh, another bass. Nope, swim right next to the turkey. Oh my goodness, there's another bass. That's a big one too. Oh my gosh, why do I keep seeing so many fish? I've seen four bass just by drifting along this area. So, there's fish here. Now I got my favorite fall lure tied on, which is a spinner bait. Let's see if they want this. I'm just kind of curious if the bass will even bite a spinner bait or if it's just the turkey's fault. Oh, that's a giant crappie. That's how you know it's getting cold out when you start seeing crappie. Like I never see those dudes unless it's like ice fishing season. Oh, it's getting rough, man. I'm cold. I'm just gonna share with you my verse of the day right here. And this is from Psalm 103 verse 19. And it says, the Lord has established his throne in heavens and his kingdom rules over all. So this is just a good reminder for us that no matter what is going on, no matter what situation you are in in your life right now, God is in control and he rules over everything. So just find some peace and join that today that God is in control and he's got you no matter what's going on in your life. All right, now let's continue fishing and see if we can catch one. I'm so cold right now. Like I can't even feel my hands, dude. There's a bass, there's a little bass. Bite the spinner bait. It's like almost the same size as you, but you should still bite it. Of course he doesn't bite it. Why would he want to bite it? This might be one of my last times on the kayak this year. So that's kind of sad. All right, that's really it. I can't feel my hands anymore. Even, even when they're in the gloves, like I still can't feel my fingers right now. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get inside and drink some hot chocolate. So catch you guys when I do that. Oh goodness, that's hot, but it tastes so good. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm glad I at least got to catch one fish in that turkey. The rest of the day was a little bit, a little bit cold, a little bit chilly, not very much action, but that's fine. I caught one fish, completed the turkey challenge. The turkey did not get the best of me. Although I'm really sad to say that this might be my last like kayak fishing trip. It probably won't be my last, but it'll be one of my last because it is just gonna keep getting colder from here on out. Like this weekend, it's supposed to be like the lows of like 15, so. Ice fishing season is slowly coming upon us. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh oh, can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know.